Det er risengrød. Det er kold risengrød. Jeg kan godt forstå, hvorfor du siger det, men det smager lidt mere frugt. Kold risengrød. In Danish we call it risengrød. And it's something you get for Christmas. This is basically the cold version of it. It it's, tastes just like it. But it's weird because this is made out of pumpkin. I don't. And I don't well, Amelia, I, I'm just saying it is the same without heated. Yeah, it is. And I'm having the cherries. I have this obsession with cherries, and this is basically just cherries covered with uh, with cinnamon. Amelia, I mean, she's always cherry picking. I'm cherry picking. We just made it to the castle of Braganza, Castello Braganza, and this is absolutely the most well-maintained castle we have ever seen. It is so well-maintained that it doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, look at this. It's like they try to, you know, re replicate an old castle, yet this is uh, almost 800 years old. I think this is the most impressive castle I've ever been to. I totally um, agree. So today, within these castle walls, you will actually find the military museum of Braganza. And that is the perfect place to put a military uh, museum, because a lot of fights have been fought here. Whoa! <laughs> I can't get in here. I have to... This tells you a little bit about how the... Warriors, they were not that tall back then, you know? They, they, wouldn't they were be, not Vikings. They weren't basketball players either. <laughs> no. They must have been doing something in here to prevent it from rottening up with mold and stuff like that. I mean, I know it looks authentic and it is, but they must have done something, no? Mm, I don't it know. smells beautiful in here. It doesn't smell old at all. This place right here reminds me so much of uh, every night when Jon and I, we have an argument and he locks me up here. It also reminds me of childhood. Even though it makes sense that there is a military museum, I can't help think how amazing of a hotel this could be. Oh my god, yes. Can you imagine? So guys, most of you know that Jon and I, we are not big on history. We come here for the beauty of it. And for anybody who are Instagrammers or just like a good photo or aesthetically uh, uh, obsessed like we are, you have to come here because look at this. I mean, would you? Un it's really difficult to wrap my head around this is like seven year, 700 years old. What? It makes no sense. How on earth? So pretty. They didn't even invent the horse and carriage back then. No. <laughs> so Portugal and Spain has always been in a giant rivalry. They have always been fighting and Spain has tried to occupy the entirety of Portugal. But there is one castle that has never lost a fight against the Spain, Spanish. This castle. So that's why you call the, the warriors from Braganza the invisible, in, invisible. That is also why the warriors of Braganza is called the invincible warriors. Welcome to Glamping Hills. The hills where you do glamorous camping, as the name says. We are 20 minutes outside of Baganza. We just had a lovely swim and um, 
a lovely drink. Yes, because that's really what we needed. Because we needed to take a break for all the exploration that we have today. Ma our brains can't process all these uh, experiences. But, but that's why this is the perfect area to be, because this is so relaxing. And it's like a really fun little place that they have here. It's a cute concept. One of my favorite things is glamping, uh, because it's camping in idyllic settings, but without having to shit in a bucket, you know. Uh, they have six of these very cute little um, uh, pots. Uh, pots. We're gonna give a house tour sh uh, shortly, but um, let's just take a minute to enjoy How lovely it is here. the peace. Oh my God. Tonight, we are going to see uh, Festa da Carreta. Carreta, which is a Celtic festival that they have here. So we all know that when it comes to camping or glamping, Simplicity and comfort are the two keys that you have to go for and that's exactly what they have reached in this beautiful pot. It's all made out of wood so you have this like really earthy, cozy summer vacation home vibe. But then you have everything you need. I especially love the bed corner here because you feel like you're inside a little cute cave when you're sleeping here. We're probably gonna fight a bit over space as we usually do. Because this is uh, the same size as our bed at home. No, you just need to work more out on the treadmill. <laughs> you got the table here if you want your coffee. And you can even actually uh, cook here. You got two plates. You got two cooking um, plates. Stoves. Invisible. Stoves. You got a microwave. You got a fridge. What makes camping glamping is this. You got, you got your own toilet. You got your own en suite. It's lovely. It's everything you need, basically. And um, yeah, I can't wait to spend two nights here. But um, yeah, you're going to see more of this tomorrow. Now mm -hmm. we have to go to Braganza for una fiesta. Da careta. Vamos. Vamos. Oh. My freaking god, this is my favorite food of this entire trip so far. I can't get my arms down. I've been finishing all this so fast because the flavors are so insane. It's like you have all these traditional flavors and then you took them and you wrap them in in a beautiful innovative uh, package. It's so good. I'm, I feel like I could eat forever here. In addition to the food that I agree is amazing, but not the best. I mean, I'm Uabel, that's, my, that's where my heart is. It's aguadent with chocolate. I love aguadent, I love chocolate. So, I should love this. It's a shame that I'm driving. Delicious. It's like a liquid soft ice, actually. The Caretta is coming up, but that's gonna be the final explosion of this volcano vlog. I don't even know the storyline anymore because it's like here, there, everywhere. Um, but what a sunset and look at this. Amelia, how much food are we gonna eat? I don't know. I'm but gonna I love be it. rolling back right. to Lisbon. They see me rolling. They hate him. This is um, butter roasted octopus with a little kind of a salad with lime and a mulio cumalio. Mm. 
Mm. Mm. Mm. Mm. It's a bit like ceviche, but not ceviche, more creamy. It's so good. Okay, let's just not get into all the talking. You know, it's such a pleasure to try something that is not 100% typical. Because this is, you know, a creative touch to the typical Tabana kitchen. I wasn't expecting this from here. I thought this would be another typical joint. Far from it. Kareto tradition is a prehistorical Celtic ritual still practiced in the Baganza district. It takes place during winter and carnivals and is one of the oldest traditions still practiced in Portugal today. The Caretos are masked young single men and they are dressed in suits made of colorful wool. Each village in the area has their own warrior suit and a mask designed with all kinds of unique decoration. Back in the days they would appear in big groups running around shouting and frightening the people of different villages. History even said that they would rob all the vineries and smokehouses. However, the main target of the caretos were young single girls that hadn't had a kid yet. That's why we today associate the Careto tradition with memories of magical rituals related to fertility cults. Of course today, the tradition is all fun and games, so people are no longer afraid of the Caretos. And that's even though they still like jumping around and entertained by fighting each other, and even scare the young girls. Jon and I had so much fun, and we feel it's so important to maintain old traditions like this. We are wrapping up this incredibly adventurous day here at Ojavali. We kind of had our first leg, now we have our second leg. And this is the burger. And we have one more dish and two desserts. And we've been filming since 6 o'clock this morning. It's 11. It's a long day. <laughs> but there's coming more here. Oh, what is this? Oh, 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 oh. I know this. I tried this. I tried this before. You know, just fill it up, you know. I know it tastes good. <laughs> So we are going to end up with a very traditional dessert from this area because again we have a dessert with castanhas and castanhas is what you make desserts out of in this area. It comes with sweet apple and pistachio ice cream. Unfortunately I can't have much of this because this is a pineapple that's been soaked in rum for one week. Um, and I'm driving back to Glamping Hills, but I'm gonna have one bite. I can have two bites. Thank you so much for watching this video. It's been uh, overwhelming to uh, get all these experiences in one day. Tomorrow we have our last day here in Trasusmund. Obrigado por ver o vídeo. Até logo. Até logo.